The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them which are bound. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Bruce with the Idaho Chaplains Association. I just wanted to share a little bit with you this afternoon about uh, some of the things we're involved in and and uh, one of the main things I teach. <laughs> Hopefully whenever we do these videos uh, we'll be giving you something that you can kind of hang on to. Amen? Uh, one of the things I've been involved in is prison ministry and and if the Idaho Chaplains Association, uh, our association with Christian or Correctional Ministries and Chaplains Association and uh, specifically as well Three Oaks Ministries um, is prison ministry and, and trying to pro proclaim liberty through Jesus Christ uh, to those that are in prison. But we have, a, there's a little more to that. <laughs> um, and one of those things is that um, we want to help affect the government, uh, the government, to to be a blessing that are uh, to those that they've been put in charge over. Uh, it's just such a, an important thing. Um, and so I'm going to give you a little math, a little math lesson here. Knowledge minus, minus what? Knowledge is a good and wonderful thing, right? But if you have knowledge without something else, it's going to equal uh, a lesser value. I'll show you. Minus compassion. Knowledge minus compassion equals <laughs> equals that. It doesn't do anybody any good at all. Knowledge minus compassion equals nothing. So when as we're involved in prison ministry um, we want to affect correctional officers and the administration as a whole, no matter what uh, government is in charge of the prisons, wherever we're working, uh, for their benefit as well. We want to we want to let them know this precept um, because I'll tell you what: if you get a sour-faced and a sour-spirited correctional officer in charge of a bunch of prisoners, uh, there's going to be a much less chance that these people are going to learn anything well, uh, uh, that they'll be able to turn loose of bitterness when somebody's given the, um, uh, giving them the opportunity to be bitter all the time. Someone's being bitter to them, uh, it's going to produce ugliness out in the world and unfortunately we all have that tendency uh, when we're exhibiting our anger or bitterness or our hurt quite often uh, which causes those things we're transmitting that out into the world and so when we can be a blessing to correctional officers as well that they would take precepts like this knowledge minus compassion equals nothing and that they might be doing more harm in that place than they are good um, well go figure so if we put the, the the precept of compassion in to teaching and blessing and and even even um, uh, incarceration then then there's going to be something come out of that. And it, it's because it comes from good, it's going to produce good. 
And so compassion is everything. If we can't in our ministries uh, teach compassion, it's just going to equal nothing. And if we can't teach those that are uh, administering in some other capacity, in any capacity, if they're not using that knowledge and administration with compassion, uh, all their administration or whatever it might be, it's going to equal nothing. God bless you. Uh, please do check out threeoaksministries.net and um, you, there you can click on the links to get into the Idaho Chaplains Association and see what we're about. And um, I, I hope we can be a blessing to you. If you need help, reach out there and help will come. We'll, we'll answer any queries that there are. And God bless you today and every day. Thank you.